Welcome to part 3 of 4 Steps to 4D. After assigning all of the 3D objects to tasks in the schedule, our next step is to create and view an animation. After part 2, I went ahead and assigned the rest of the 3D objects in the architecture and MEP models. We can start out by simply viewing the construction using the Play Focus Time tool in the 4D Review ribbon. To do this, I will update the playback rate from 12 hours to 1 week. Clicking the play button will begin the video, during which you will be able to zoom around the model to view the construction from different angles. This is useful to ensure the sequence of construction is correct. Now, we'll focus on creating a more complete animation. To begin, open the Animations menu by selecting it at the bottom left of the screen. You will also need to open the Animation Editor tool in the Windows ribbon near the top. Now that these are open, we can expand the model window for a better view and name our animation. To get started, check the boxes to enable the camera, timeline, and 3D view in the animations pane. This will allow us to place camera and timeline anchors in the animation editor. Additionally, ensure the view of the model is a good spot to start the animation. Then, move the focus time to the beginning of the project by dragging the red arrow above the Gantt chart. Begin by double-clicking in the camera and focus timelines to place anchors for the beginning of the animation. After the beginning is set, we'll want to choose the next anchor point by adjusting the focus time. I chose a moment after the concrete piles are finished and before the steel structure is started. Place another anchor in the animation editor to pinpoint the spot in the project timeline. Each vertical line represents one second. Placing an anchor here means that we will show the concrete portion in about 3 seconds in the final product. Next, we will want to employ the ability to zoom around the project. I chose an anchor point for the focus time that is after the steel structure is in place. Rotating the view and placing a new anchor in the camera line will make the animation pan directly to the new point over the time you choose. I did about 2 seconds in this case. We can test our first couple points by going into 4D Review, selecting Play Animations, and hitting the Play button. It looks like out anchor points and camera pan were successful. You will see here that I added a bunch more anchor points in both the camera and focus timelines through the end of the project. When I click Play, the animation will play through the entire duration following my direction. If you have more specific questions about placing points and building animations, see the video linked in the description. The last thing I'll show is creating a separate view for multiple animations playing at once. First, go into the Windows tab again and click the 3D button, which will open a new 3D window adjacent to the original. You can adjust this view to an angle you like of the project and make sure that the option is selected for Play Animation in Selected 3D View only in the Animations pane on the left. With the left 3D view highlighted, playing the animation again will only play it in that view, with the second window displaying the same timeline but in a consistent viewing angle. This will allow us to create a more interesting final product, which I will go over in the last video of the series.